video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to quickly talk about iOS 17 beta 8, which just came out today to registered developers. Now, this is going to be a very quick video, but very important for those of you that are considering putting this beta on your phone. So let's get right into this. First of all, the beta came in at 572.2 megabytes, which is pretty small compared to the others. So keep that in mind. We are near the end of the cycle here. So that's what we're getting. Half a gigabyte file, not too bad. And the build number on this one is actually ending with another A. So we've got 21A5326A. And this is lining up exactly with what I said uh, last time in the beta seven video. Apple's just refining this letter A as much as they can before they push out the RC. This is not the RC. Uh, so don't believe any other YouTubers that are telling you that. We still do have a couple more betas left. We might or might not get one next week but we will almost definitely get an RC either next week or the week after. We're gonna talk about the final release date here in a minute, but let's talk about some of the new features in this beta. First off, this is something that I bet you if you watch any other YouTuber's video, they're probably gonna miss this one. Uh, they actually changed the vibration a little bit one more time. So now if you put your phone into silent mode, it does, instead of three really strong haptic vibrations, it does five. And they're so quick in succession that most people probably wouldn't notice this, but hey, you guys subscribe to me for a reason. I go into the details. So there are now five little vibrations. So that almost confirms that there will be an action button on the new iPhones because you want to know when your phone's going into vibrate mode. And with these five haptic vibrations, you'll definitely know what you're doing. You'll definitely know that you're going into vibrate mode. In case you're wondering how the heck I could tell the difference between three and five, I actually set my phone down on a table and uh, turned on uh, voice recordings recorded it, and then slowed it down and counted. So uh, in case you guys wanna do the same, there you go. That is literally the biggest feature of this new beta. And there's one other annoying thing that Apple's been doing. With every single one of these betas so far, if you go into settings, scroll down to privacy, location, and scroll all the way down until you see system services, it keeps turning these on every time since like beta three, super annoying. You can see I just had to go through and turn all mine back off. Uh, this is kind of how I like it set up. Very annoying. It even turns on these things, which I've never, ever had on in the history of having an iPhone. So if you do have this beta, go in here and turn these off. Get them kind of looking like mine or turn them all off if you want. But I personally like mine to be like this. That's how I roll. I've been trying out significant locations in the past. I never used to have that on, but it is encrypted and I've done some research. It's probably OK to have on. Now let's talk about bugs and performance. Obviously, that same bug is still here when you swipe between a page and then swipe up. Um, it's very aggravating and annoying. You, I don't know if you could see it there, but there were super dropped frames. If I don't switch pages or anything and I just pull down, it looks great. 120 frames per second, you can tell it's smooth, but if you switch pages and then do it, it looks horrible. But Apple really needs to fix that with the notification tray. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. If you're watching a video that's over eight minutes long, that's because the YouTuber just wants to fill it with ads in the middle. If they hit the eight minute mark, they can do that. This video is short and sweet to the point. I'm gonna have another video, possibly two more videos coming today. If I can get them all edited in time, it's gonna be very difficult, but I'm gonna have one going over the new invites that were just sent. And there's some pretty cool clues in that invite, so I definitely wanna get that video out today as well. I also have already filmed a bunch of different case reviews for the iPhone 15 Pro. We're just trying to get everything filmed and edited and uploaded in a timely manner, so hopefully two videos today. If you're seeing this one, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you don't miss out because we got some very exciting videos coming today, tomorrow, and the rest of this week. If you liked the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.